state's broadcast, the first from the Akwaibom State Governor, Pastor Moino, following the demise of his wife, Her Excellency, Pastor Patience Moino, has been made. Well, Pastor Moino expressed his gratitude to Nigerians, especially Akwaibomites, for standing with them in this trying time. September 26, 2024, my beloved wife of 38 years, Her Excellency Pastor Mrs. Patience Oluwakemi Umo Eno, passed on to be with the Lord. Kemi was everything a man could ever wish for in a virtuous woman. My prayer partner, counselor, cheerleader, best critic, homemaker, and permanently smiling. I will miss her for a lifetime. On behalf of my family, I wish to express my deepest gratitude and eternal indebtedness to all Aquaibomites in particular and Nigerians in general for the incredible outpouring of love, support, prayers, and words of encouragement through phone calls and messages of condolence and visits since the unexpected sunset that befell us. This has really encouraged and strengthened us at this time. I am particularly thankful to our dear president, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR, for his uplifting message of condolence and personal phone call, as well as the first lady, distinguished senator Oluremi Tinubu CON, for the motherly role she played since my wife fell ill till her demise. The government and people of our state welcome her to the state on her condolence visit. We thank the Vice President, Distinguished Senator Kashim Shetima, GCON, former presidents and vice presidents, the Senate President, Distinguished Senator Goswil Obot Akpabio, GCON, and wife, the Chief Justice of Nigeria, his Lordship, Honorable Justice Kudrat Kekereyakun, GCON, former Senate President, Distinguished Senator Dr. Bukola Saraki, CON, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Right Honorable Tajuddin Abbas, CON, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Distinguished Senator George Akume, my brother governors, both serving and former, who individually and through the Nigerian Governors Forum sent in their condolences and even visited. We are also grateful for the solidarity shown by sister wives of governors, first ladies of the other 35 states of the Federation. I am grateful for the message of condolences from former governor architect Obon Victor Atta, the untiring support and prayers of the immediate past governor of our dear state, Mr. Dom Emmanuel. CON and his dear wife, the Chief of Defense Staff, General Chris Musa, the Inspector General of Police, IGP Kayode Egbetoku, the legislature and judiciary, both at the federal and state level, members of the Federal Executive Council, our party, the People's Democratic Party, and other political parties led by the All Progressive Congress, YPP, and indeed, IPAC, other political stakeholders across party lines, too numerous to mention here, members of the clergy across the nation, the Christian Association of Nigeria, the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigeria, the Fathers in Faith, and the Fathers in Faith for Good Governance, and all other support groups, all the labor unions, traditional rulers, members of the 4th Estate of the REM, the NUJ, and the NIPR, 
are people in the diaspora under the auspices of Akisan, especially the mayor and council president of the city of Upper Arlington in Ohio, Mayor Keme Awarisen Jetta. Our elders, our women, our youths, our students, especially the National Association of Akwai Bomb State Students, NACIS, both past and present leadership in Akwai Bomb, who again suspended their planned national protest in honor of my dear wife. Let me particularly thank our dear people from all strata of life who have risen in unison across party lines to commiserate with us through prayers, condolences, and phone calls, and even suspending campaign activities to honor the memory of our First Lady. We are deeply grateful. Let me emphasize the words of Apostle Paul to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, from verses 8 to 10, and I quote, We are troubled on every side yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Yes, we are perplexed by the death of my dear wife, but we are not in despair as all things lay bare before God. Let me use this opportunity to assure all that we will pursue everything she held dear while she was with us. The Golden Initiative for All, GIFA, as well as other initiatives she has started will be sustained and expanded. The machinery of state will continue to function seamlessly as government will continue to be alive to our responsibilities. Our focus will not be shifted from rendering services to our people with renewed strength, as this is what Kemi has always prayed for. Let me appreciate you, my dear people, for honoring the demise of my late wife with the flag being flown at half mass in the last seven days that will come to an end on Saturday, October the 5th, 2024. Permit me to commend our security agencies for maintaining the peace during this solemn moment in our dear state and urge them to do more to maintain the peace as we go into the local government elections. Finally, I must confess that your words of encouragement have helped a great deal in comforting us at this moment of great loss, grief, and bereavement. I trust that you continue to respect our privacy as we journey through this grief. Further announcements on the burial arrangements will be made public at the appropriate time, as we will not mourn as those who have no hope in Christ Jesus. Thank you, and God bless us all.